So I think the first time that I saw a book that looked like me was probably The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Uh, I was 18, I was fresh out of the closet, I had just moved away to college, and I was still sort of insecure with who I was. I was sort of wrestling with my identity. I didn't know how much of my queerness to kind of like wear on my sleeve. I kind of felt like I was walking on eggshells everywhere. And I read The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and there's a character in the book whose name is Patrick, and he's best friends with the main character, Charlie. And Patrick's character uh, was queer, he was openly queer, and his queerness uh, and experiences and identity as a queer person was really woven into the plot and into the themes of the book in a way that I had never experienced before as a reader, and it really made a difference. Um, and I think the good news is, since that time, a decade ago, uh, there's been so many more books with queer characters and queer storylines um, so that all LGBTQ people can look to literature and look to stories and find themselves uh, represented in the page, uh, in the pages that they read. So we've made many steps forward. I think we still have a ways to go. But yeah, I think Perks of Being the Wallflower was the first time that I really felt like I could see a part of myself uh, in the pages that I was reading and it made a big difference.